they had been sneaking out to the labyrinth. But what's about that is, he fades at the sight of any monster. He's definitely hiding something from me. I think there's a meeting someone there, but he's never been the type of person to hide things from me. He's just been avoiding me. Don't you think something's up? He's meeting with another woman. I'm not going to forgive him. His name is Giorgio. He's a handsome man with black hair down to his shoulders and slit like eyes. According to these guys here, he's been going to the fourth floor fairly often. I'm leaving this up to you. are back so when we last left off we finally not only reached b4 but we also reached b4 and successfully unlock um unlock the shortcut everyone's healed up So we're going to head back down to level 4, and we have a couple side quests to do there. Or a side quest and plus some additional exploration, because we still haven't found the exit yet. Actually, before that is. And the stream is now going out to... Um, Viewers on Periscope, so for those watching there, hello. Check my inventory real quick. How are you for You've only got the one transfer potion. Let's pick up one more. Forgetting that the don't, that, yeah, um, still have to manually hand it over to the correct person. Also, there's no like real good auto sort for your inventory items. That would be. In the rare event that we get an HD remaster of this game, haha, um, that would be a nice inclusion. You know, you probably could have gotten more, done more to slow me down if you just attacked me. But sure, whatever. I've noticed the stock action for um, the frog creatures is if they've taken damage, is they just I'm 
Alright, the good news is if I rush you, I should be fine. Yep. If you heal enough damage to the um, uh, frogs early on, then it just takes them down. Yep, and I guess we clear of that Reaper. And next, we have to go down to level. Look to level three, or the to, 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 to dungeon level three. So, okay. The way this works. I head this way to the elevator. And I'm getting in a fight with the cat person. And a mage. Mage in the front rank, that makes things slightly easier. Rush that maybe got a no, not quite because Rush only does like average of 30 damage. Um, okay. Okay. Ooh, lock chest. Oh, trapped rather. So, the way this works, we can go down to E3. Hang out on the left. Got the drawbridge over here. that if I figure if I'm reading the map correctly. correctly. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Because this chest isn't the one I'm too familiar with. Probably just regular metal armor, not much of value, but that's okay. There we go. And then this elevator takes me to the shortcut to B4. And now I don't have to go through B3 anymore.
those two. a waste of an attack spell. Good, it retasks the front line. Okay. more XP here than I'm level 4. Or I'm level uh, 3, rather. Throwing knife. I've already got um, Sorcerer with a throwing knife, so that's not really useful. Nice. Okay, that, that is actually very useful. are critters I haven't fought before. How squishy are they? Squishy enough! This will probably be a shorter stream than last time because I did a really long stream last week. Ninja was fighting against a rotting corpse. Flash of light, the rotting corpse collapsed. The rotting corpse lay twitching on the ground, then gradually shriveled into a mass of flesh. Rest now, damned soul. The elf ninja sheathed his magical knife after dispatching the rotting corpse swiftly as the wind. The sight of him made your heart jump the way it did before during Anne Marie's story. Talks to you walk towards him. Several Duan ninjas appeared before the elf. Come to your senses, you stopped suddenly. The ninja soldiers began reporting to the elf at once. This must be one of the big like, the big heroes of the uh, queen. This area has been cleared of the undead. I'm certain that more will appear soon. What is our condition? Bell went forth for a minute, unable to fight, sir. The ninja closed his eyes in deep thought. The elf was probably the Colgan the Agile that Anne Marie mentioned. Turn my volume down a little bit. I don't know if it's coming up on the mic or not. There's no reason to scout further. To the next floor! Yes, sir. Ninja soldier glanced in your direction for a second. He briefly showed a look of suspicion. See his reaction, Colgan turned around. Colgan arced his eyebrows slightly, and then gave an order to the ninja soldiers. You go on ahead, I have something to do. With a curt response, the ninjas vanished quickly. Kogan stared at you with a freezing glare. But behind those icy eyes, it seemed as if a crimson flame burned wildly. Why are you alive? Are filthy souls like yours barred from the afterlife? 
Many who did not deserve to die perished from the Flash. Flash, and you, who have no right to live, remained alive. How dare you simply show up after everything that has happened? I will at least listen if you intend to beg for forgiveness. Um... We just met! Not that a traitor like yourself would ever be forgiven. Surprisingly, Colgan seemed to know you. Huh. I'm not aware of my of um my character being amnesiac, but that's okay. He blankly stared back, Colgan's rage burst like fright. Have you nothing to say for yourself? Logan slashed his knife angrily, but just grazed you. Blood trickled down your cheek. An image disappeared in, or appeared and disappeared in your eyes. Not as if I trusted you. I trusted Her Majesty's words and her heart. Do not forget, Durkin, that my direct blade is directed at you. Logan held up his knife that became wet with your blood. You betrayed this country. He betrayed her heart. You betrayed Her Majesty's trust. You betrayed all the time that we had spent together. There was no need to leave you alive anymore. Even Her Majesty, you will be punished! In the name of the moon, I will punish you! Hogan, attack me. And fight. Boss fight, apparently. Bulgan in the front and looks like two ninjas in the back. So let's do for now. Which, um, is this shot? Sarah casting some buffs, and I want to make sure that Jurgen is included in. impact in the affected uh, characters. Um, and buff the evade from the front row because the assassin ability. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Okay, get the evasion up. Shot again. Double slash Morgan. And I want to have you boost everyone's agility because I think the agility increase is going to be the attack buff. Okay. Well, they just recharged that bad riding my controller. I think agility is my attack boost. There we go. Nothing can stay on better chance of landing me. I think those melee attacks. Okay. And double attack on them. Attack.
Dash Lab on the front rank, please for damage. No, okay, that's still... Not enough. That was worth a shot. Double slash isn't really doing much good on them. Um, oof. There. Okay.
Can't combine with with another. Okay, so it doesn't combine with another assisted AA. But I probably will combine with a. Ah, uh, because that's what you've done to begin with. Okay. And leveled up. Okay, good. Drogon became furious. Fight me seriously, Durgan. Why are you fighting like an adventurer? Because I am one. Are you mocking the Queen's guard? But you couldn't understand the meaning of Colgan's words. Colgan grimaced hatefully. That's how you want to play? Fine. I'll chase you. I'll hunt you down. And I'll kill you. You won't know when death will come for you. You shall live in fear like a kobold being stalked by a dragon. Colgan vanished into the darkness. Oh, the idol is a queen's guard, the leech who protect her majesty. He must have met the queen when he said her majesty. Well, it, that seems obvious. You have no idea, Durgan? Hogan says you betrayed her majesty. He appeared into your face, perplexed. It's hard to believe that his leader had anything to do with the queen. It seems to me that you don't remember any of that. By the way, it looks like we need to be more careful from now on. It could just be a misunderstanding, but Colgan the Agile is after you, so... Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.